Guys, I received a really freaking cool email today. I have been waiting for this email since October. And finally, my wedding coordinator in Mexico finally emailed me scheduling a call with me. And we're hopefully going to discuss everything. That way it's gonna give me like a range of all the costs and then just solidify our budget a little bit because I feel like we haven't really chatted with the coordinator yet. We don't have like a solidified budget for our wedding in Mexico. So hopefully on Wednesday we're gonna be able to do all of that. And she finally freaking emailed me. I also got more Amazon packages. I think one of these uh, is my sister's gift, so I'm probably not gonna show that because then she's gonna see. Oh wow, this is huge! I ordered this one. I ordered this one because TJ um, actually bought a ping pong table, so we needed like a set for the ping pong table, and I got four because we wanted to play with friends, so we wanted to have at least four that way. If we have like friends over, they can like we could do like double matches and stuff. It's just kind of nice. Bam 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 bam. One. It's the Cozerax. Um, Cozerax. Cozerax. This one's the Advanced Nail 92 All-in-One Cream. Whoa! Did you guys see that? Ooh, she's thick. I'm gonna leave Pamela's. This is Pamela's present. I'm gonna leave it in this box until I have to like wrap it. Good. I had such a busy day today that I didn't get to film anything else but I thought I'd show you guys the collection of all the cameras that I have because why not? <laughs> Okay, we'll start with the digital cameras that I have. I have this one that I just showed you guys yesterday. This is the Fujifilm. I have not tested this one. Like, I don't have any sample of what this looked like in picture. So, and then I have this one. This is the Kodak Easy Share C C330. This one I actually love so much I, I got this one for five dollars from like a grandma she was selling like two cameras i had to drive half an hour out of the city to get this one to pick it up but it was all worth it because i actually love this one i love how it's like super compact and then i'll show you guys this is like the example of the picture um from this camera i took it using this one i love it i think it's super cute and i don't know i just love it it just hits different <laughs> And then the next one I have, I actually have one in my car. It's the Canon one that I've been using. I don't have it he right here right now, but this is the example photos of the ones that I took using this camera. And this one just gives like super old school vibes, but like so good. I think it's so warm tone and I really like that about Canon. So yeah, this is like the example pictures of that. And then I have this one, it's Sony. Cyber shot. I don't know if this is working if I'm completely honest with you. I haven't used it yet I bought it because I saw really good reviews about it online But I have to purchase the battery which is not because for these ones. It's just double A's Batteries oh, fuck. like these for this Sony one I actually have to buy a different type of battery so and then moving on for my film cameras I have four different ones the very first one that i owned is this one this is the olympus trip 35 i don't use it as much as i want to use it because this one really heavily on sunlight so as you can see here 
This is the light meter. This one doesn't need any battery functions from this light meter. So it's not gonna go through if there's not enough light. So that's why I don't use it as much because sometimes when it's like gloomy outside, you don't know what type of like, you don't know what type of photos you're gonna get. You could see like I got this one for like $70. I think this is the most expensive one that I have. Because I didn't know before that you could literally just go to Facebook Marketplace and then you can find so much film cameras. But I got this one for $70. This is my number one, my firstborn film camera. So yeah, this one's pretty special. And then the next one that I own is this one. This is the Pentax ESPO 80V. This is the second film camera that I've ever owned my whole life. My friend um, Ren sold it to me for $5. So yeah, it's actually one of my favorite one because it's so compact and I don't know, it's just so cute. I love this one. I bring this one everywhere, I think. <laughs> and then my third one, my mom actually got me this uh, from Value Village. So someone donated this film camera. It's this one, it's the Minolta X700. And I got this one for only $25. And it came with like flashes and everything, so it's a pretty good deal, I would say. Do I still have film in here? <gasps> this one you can sort of like save battery because it has down here, there's like an on and off button that you could do. So you could certainly like save batteries because batteries for this one is not super cheap. I think I got the battery for this for like $25, so yeah. I think there is still film in here. This is the example pictures for this one. I really like the pictures of how like it turned out when I used this. I think I used this camera when I went to Calgary with my family. And I think these uh, pictures look super good. So I love this one. This is like my second favorite. But I just don't use it as much because it's very, very heavy. And it's so hard to bring it with you when you're traveling. So lastly, for film, we have this. It's another Pentax. And this is the ESPO 738. I used one roll for this one. I haven't developed, developed. I haven't developed it yet. I want to compare it with this one. In terms of compactness, this one obviously wins. But I've, I haven't seen... The photos from this one yet so i can't tell which one i like this one or this one but they are from the same brand this one i got for five dollars it's the one package like i oh yeah it. tj found it on the marketplace but i was the one who Let's drove there yep anyways i got these two for ten dollars which is pretty steel i think that's all. That's everything that I have in terms of camera. The other cameras that I have, I have this one that I'm using right now, which is Canon M200. But yeah, the other camera that I have is the DJI one. And I haven't used that one as much as I want to use it. But yeah. Yeah, that's sort of like all my camera addiction. That's my camera collection. Um, but yeah, I don't plan on buying anymore. I don't think, especially for like the film cameras, I feel like having four different ones is enough for me. That is that for this video. I think that's the end of the video. I just wanted to share what I have since I didn't really vlog anything today because I was busy focusing at work and yeah, at least I got to share all my cameras and where I spend all my money. That's it for today's video. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.